she has the capacity. In a new video, Wendy Williams' ex-husband Kevin Hunter sobs and updates viewers on the controversial host's rehab stay. In the touching video, Kevin opened up about Wendy, 58, and his decision to stop using marijuana while also discussing the support Wendy is getting. She is receiving the assistance she requires, and perhaps she'll emerge from this situation swinging. She's got it in her, I know it claimed the 49-year-old. After they revealed last week that Wendy was getting therapy, the ex-daytime talk show host's representative exclusively verified to the U.S. son that Wendy is still in the treatment center. Kevin said about Sharina Hudson, the woman he had a child with in 2019 while he was still married to Wendy, as far as my immediate family, I could not do it without the biggest help of my queen, that's representing me today, everyone's family, and I recognize that I had to swing the sword for my entire family because many individuals are attempting to take advantage of everything I have achieved alongside my family. The father of two continued, I'm not going to allow anybody take away from me what is mine, and I need to be very focused for the struggle that is in front of me. The former executive producer of a daytime talk show then became emotional as he discussed his own personal growth journey and broke down in tears. Please don't misinterpret my tears as a show of weakness, since everybody who knows me knows I'm a fighter, he continued. The next thing Kevin said may have upset Wendy fans, he lauded the success of the Wendy Williams show and credited his mistress in part for that accomplishment. I'm going to say this with pride and passion, nobody, and I mean nobody, will ever bring the energy, the charm, the passion, whatever else you want to call it, that you've witnessed with Kevin Hunter and my ex, Wendy Williams, as well as the entire crew that was behind us. That now includes my present girlfriend because, as I'll say, it takes a village. Yes, I did say that. Kevin continued, clearly indicating that there will be many who will object to such a strong statement. Whoever doesn't like it, they just aren't going to like it, and I'm going to say it again. The U.S. Sun was the first publication to learn from the star's publicist Sean Zanotti last week that Wendy had checked into a wellness facility to manage her general health difficulties. She is taking some time to concentrate on her health and fitness as she gets ready for a significant comeback for the Wendy Experience podcast, They're Padded, which will launch the next phase of her career. MS Williams is receiving care from a group of some of the top medical professionals in the world. We kindly request your prayers and kind thoughts at this time. The U.S. Sun was also informed by sources that Wendy had been having trouble quitting drinking. Wendy simply can't stop drinking, according to The Insider. The former TV star's health is allegedly deteriorating, according to a second source close to her, as a result of her ongoing drinking problems. She must quit drinking because she can't stop. It only makes her health issues worse. Due to a variety of health problems, including Graves' illness, lymphedema, and drug usage, Wendy missed all of the last season of The Wendy Williams Show. In June, Wendy's long-standing production firm, Debmer Mercury, made the official announcement that her program was being terminated and that Sherry Shepard, a previous guest presenter, would take over Wendy's time slot. Although Wendy has previously stated that she is starting a podcast, it is unknown if any episodes have actually been recorded to far. The problematic actress, meantime, hasn't had a consistent source of income and hasn't had complete access to her bank account since January.